If you've spent any time trading cryptocurrency, you've surely heard about stablecoins such as Tether. In fact, if you look on CoinGecko, you'll see that Tether is one of the highest ranking cryptocurrencies in terms of its market capitalization. But you might not be aware that Tether also has a dark side that could destabilize the entire cryptocurrency market. Do you smell a scam in Tether? I've been saying that since, wow, since 2017, um, that I thought there was a big problem with Tether. Oh, Tether executives reportedly facing a criminal probe in uh, to top bank fraud. The DOJ is reportedly looking into whether te uh, Tether misled banks about its crypto business. So Tether accused of concealing from banks that these transactions were linked to crypto. Hi, this is Professor Grabowski. In this video, I'll dive into what Tether is and why it's important. I'll also explore the allegations of fraud surrounding it and why Tether could implode the entire cryptocurrency market. In short, the dark cloud around Tether is probably the biggest legal and security issue threatening cryptocurrency right now. First, let me briefly start by explaining what exactly Tether is. Tether is also sometimes identified by its ticker symbol USDT, which stands for US Dollar Tether. Note that USDT is also the abbreviation for the U.S. Department of Treasury. But Tether is not run by the government. It's run by a private foreign company. More on that later. Tether is a type of cryptocurrency that's a stablecoin. In fact, it's the oldest and by far the most used stablecoin. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies that are designed to remain steady in price, making them suitable for use as a store of value and a medium of exchange. Stablecoins don't go up or down, no matter how much volatility there is in the cryptocurrency market. Tether, for example, is pegged to the US dollar, so its value is supposed to constantly remain $1, and for a long time Tether claimed to have $1 in reserve for each Tether in existence. Stablecoins like Tether are useful because converting fiat money into and out of cryptocurrency like Bitcoin can be slow and cumbersome. If you load up on stablecoins, you can make your transactions quickly. Stablecoins are also useful for margin trading. And it's much easier to move funds from one exchange or investment opportunity to another if you use stablecoins than if you have to keep converting your crypto to fiat money and back to crypto. Now let me explain why Tether is so important to the cryptocurrency market. As Tether has moved from finance's fringes to the mainstream, investors have increasingly relied on stablecoins. Stablecoins represent a huge market, with stablecoins growing from a total market cap of less than $1 million in 2015 to approximately $200 billion in 2022. Stablecoins typically account for a majority of daily trading volume among all cryptocurrencies. In fact, 49 of the top 50 cryptocurrency markets or trading pairs by volume involve a stablecoin. Most of the decentralized finance or DeFi applications and services also involve a stablecoin. Tether is by far the most used stablecoin. There have been efforts to create newer stablecoins, but no one's been able to replace Tether. It dominates the market and continues to grow in use. Often, there's more Tether involved in daily transactions than Bitcoin and Ethereum and altcoins combined. Let that sink in. As the cryptocurrency market in general has rapidly grown in the past few years, so too has the amount of Tether. While most of the world has attributed the rise in price of cryptocurrencies to excessive government money printing and growing fears of inflation, Tether has also played a large role in that boom. So you might be thinking, well, that's great. What's the problem? Okay, here's the bad news. Tether may be putting the entire cryptocurrency market at risk. Here's why. A lot of experts have looked into Tether. Experts such as leading cryptocurrency developers, major news outlets, and even criminal investigations by government officials. And they found that the company that runs Tether has lied about its finances, that the company refuses to be audited, and that they may be engaging in outright fraud. So if Tether's problems are as bad as some people fear, this could potentially be a bigger and costlier scandal than the Enron scandal and the Bernie Madoff scandal. But the thing is, crypto is such a nascent and small market compared to traditional markets like stocks that it probably won't be able to weather this kind of huge scandal.
And unlike banks and stocks, the United States government is probably not going to bail out the cryptocurrency market if it fails. Many officials in the government view cryptocurrency as a threat to the dollar and to national security. So the notion that Tether is too big to fail is a bit naive. Now at this point, you might be thinking, whoa, back up. How did this happen? Well, this scandal has been gradually developing over the past five years. Let me dig a little deeper into what we know about the company behind Tether and how they came under scrutiny. For starters, the setup of the company does not instill confidence. Tether is based in the British Virgin Islands and operates without any financial licenses or government oversight, even though it's essentially printed $80 billion worth of stablecoins and counting. The company has only 13 employees, which makes it the most valuable company on a per-employee basis in the entire world. Having few employees is useful if you're doing shady things, because it means fewer potential whistleblowers. Madoff had only 28 employees, for example, when he defrauded investors of $65 billion in his fraudulent Ponzi scheme. If you look into the company's personnel, you'll see that Tether was founded by an eccentric former child actor. Many of the company's core executives have sketchy pasts and have had run-ins with the law. The company is very secretive and today it has not produced a legitimate audit by a trusted auditing firm. Wells Fargo initially provided banking services to Tether but then stopped doing that in 2017 because they weren't comfortable with Tether's business model. The Tether company is also connected to Bitfinex, which is a shady cryptocurrency exchange that has had its own share of legal problems stemming from lawsuits over mismanaging money and government investigations. In fact, Tether is run by the same exact people who run Bitfinex, but Tether lied about this connection for a long time until a document leak confirmed the relationship and they could no longer hide it. Journalists and academic researchers who've looked into this relationship have alleged that over the years Bitfinex has used Tether to print billions of dollars of unbacked stablecoins to pay off its debts and to manipulate the price of Bitcoin. Prominent cryptocurrency developers such as Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin have also expressed doubts and concerns over Tether. He called it a ticking time bomb. Initially, Tether claimed to be one-to-one -one backed by US dollar reserves. But then in 2019, they changed this claim and instead said they were backed by non-cash assets. And then a month later, Tether's lawyer said Tether was only 74% backed, meaning they wouldn't be able to pay back a quarter of the stablecoins in existence if holders sought to get reimbursed for them. Most recently, in May 2021, Tether updated its report and said that only 3% of all tethers were backed by cash, and most of it was backed by unsecured assets. So each time they make a statement, the amount backing tether continues to fall. And nobody has any insights into what their real reserves are. How much of the tethers in existence could actually be redeemed for money if everyone decided they wanted to cash their tether in? Tether refuses to provide any real audits to the public, other than vague pie charts they spent 10 minutes making in Microsoft Paint. Tether claims they've done audits and they show everything is fine, but accounting experts say they're not legitimate audits. Because of this lack of transparency, various conspiracy theories have emerged about Tether, speculating that the CIA or Chinese mafia may be behind it. And that's what happens when there's a vacuum of information. People fill it in with all kinds of wild speculation. Recently, government authorities also began to wonder, what's the deal with Tether? And they launched multiple investigations. First, New York state officials charged Tether with financial mismanagement. As part of a court settlement in 2021, Tether executives were ordered to pay New York State $19 million, and they were banned from doing business with New York residents and New York businesses. Attorney General Letitia James stated that Tether's claims that it was fully backed by U.S. dollars at all times was a lie. Also in 2021, a federal agency known as the United States Commodity Futures Trading Commission fined Tether's company $42 million for making untrue and misleading statements and omissions of material fact in its management of its stablecoin. Meanwhile, the United States Justice Department is currently investigating possible bank fraud. So company officials could be facing more than just fines if they're found guilty. They could be facing jail time. Moreover, this investigation might fully reveal the extent of Tether's insolvency. 
so the crypto community needs to prepare themselves for the worst. Tether is the glue holding the crypto markets together, and if Tether goes insolvent, we will likely see a crypto liquidity crisis, which will create extreme levels of panic and fear among investors. The money won't just flow into other stablecoins, but rather the entire market will become destabilized. A 2021 report by JP Morgan predicted that it could be a doomsday type event, with exchanges halting withdrawals, trading paused, prices plunging as investors rush to get out, new government regulations, and banks even freezing all Bitcoin deposits. Some analysts speculate that Bitcoin's price could plummet to $1,000 or less. Right now, a lot of people in the crypto community seem to be in denial about the situation. It's a bit like a Schrodinger's cat metaphor, where everyone suspects something is wrong, but they're afraid to check and confirm their worst fears. Everyone knows Tether is like a ticking suitcase at the airport, but rather than open the suitcase and confirm that it's a bomb, many people are ignoring it and hoping it's just a clock. But sooner or later, we will find out what's in that suitcase. So be ready.